In the early 2000s, the European economy was thriving, however, fueled by debt. Southern Europe was experiencing resurgent growth, which meant that construction projects to accommodate this expansion were easily funded. This was the situation with Spain's Ciudad Real Airport, which reportedly cost $1 billion to build, originally intended to divert traffic away from Madrid Barajas Airport. The Ciudad Real Airport welcomed passengers in 2009 but closed three years later. So, how can such an ambitious and critical undertaking fail so miserably? And what's the backstory behind the many bankruptcies? The airport Ciudad Real International Airport is located south of Ciudad Real Spain. It was built at a cost of 1.1 billion euros and opened in 2009 as Spain's first private international airport. The airport has a single runway that is 4,100 m long and 60 m wide, making it one of Europe's longest. It was designed to accommodate all types of commercial aircraft, including the Airbus A380. The passenger terminal was meant to accommodate 2 million passengers per year, with the capacity to take up to 10 million passengers per year if further modules were built and the cargo facilities were designed to handle up to 47,000 tons per year. One section of the airport was built to accommodate private and sport planes. The airport's planned expansion included a maintenance area, a heliport, and an industrial zone, covering more than eight square kilometers. In addition, a 300-meter-long footbridge was built to connect the terminal to the nearby Madrid-Seville high-speed rail line towards a site for a railway station. Construction of this transportation link was never started, though had such a project been undertaken and completed, it would have made Ciudad Real Airport the first in Spain to be linked to the AVE rail network, with travel times to the closest cities of 50 minutes. So the question is, when did it all go wrong? Operations History Following its opening in 2009, the airport's first flights were to Palma de Mallorca, which were operated by Air Berlin until the 30th of May 2010. Air Nostrum also flew to Barcelona, Gran Canaria, and temporarily, Lanzarote. Ciudad Real Airport began handling international flights in June 2010, with Ryanair launching its first international service. The airline service operated three flights per week from London Stansted until it was terminated on November 11th that year, having carried about 22,000 people into or out of the airport. The cancellation of the route, which resulted in the loss of 22 employees, was caused by a breach of trade agreements with Ryanair, as well as financial issues at the airport. Vuling, a Spanish low-cost carrier, became the airport's sole carrier at this moment, operating flights to Barcelona, Paris, and Palma de Mallorca until it ceased operations on October 29, 2011. After collecting more than 300 million in debt, the airport's financial woes caused the management corporation to declare bankruptcy in 2012, finally going into receivership. All airport operations were suspended on April 13, 2012, and will remain so for the next seven years. But what led to such bad financial problems? Reasons Bankruptcy The following factors contributed significantly to the closing of Ciudad Real Airport. The first factor revolved around the construction's inadequate planning. Some flaws were overlooked during the initial planning stages. The main one was its location in a special bird protection area, SPA, and in the middle of the dormant Campo de Calatrava volcanic field, with the European Union preventing its construction until environmental safeguards were implemented. This caused a four-year delay in the first opening, 2008 instead of 2004. Meanwhile, in 2006, Madrid's principal airport, Barajas, completed construction on an extension that allowed it to handle 70 million passengers per year, alleviating previously overcrowded facilities. As a result, all airlines that were considering operating from Ciudad Real instead chose to fly from Madrid, which is a more convenient option for passengers from the capital because the distance between Ciudad Real Airport and Madrid is approximately 200 kilometers, effectively making road journeys to the airport over two hours long. If a station on the Madrid-Seville high-speed rail line had been built, travel times to the airport would have been more reasonable. At the moment, train travel times from Madrid to Ciudad Real stand at roughly 50 minutes. However, prior to bankruptcy, just the bridge connecting the station to the terminal was constructed. There is also a decommissioned railway station near the airport, 
although it only connects to the traditional railway, not the high-speed one. Finally, the airport's initial operation coincided with the worst years of Spain's financial crisis, resulting in a fall in traffic at all Spanish airports, with passenger traffic at Ciudad Real Airport reported in the low thousands. Furthermore, its main shareholder, Caixa Castilla-La Mancha, a regional savings bank, was the first Spanish bank to be bailed out during the crisis. As a result of their investments in the airport and several building companies, both small local ones and some large ones, such as Colonial, which failed as a result of the housing bubble burst. Other sources claim that passenger numbers are overly optimistic, and a BBC News magazine piece claims that the airport's investors meant for it to fail, all having benefited from construction contracts handed to their own companies. Selling the airport Ciudad Real Airport was auctioned off on December 9, 2013, with a minimum asking price of 100 million. After being identified as a substantial contributor to the financial difficulties of creditor institutions and the Castilla-La Mancha regional government. Because no offers were received, the selling period was extended several times, with the commercial court of Ciudad Real consenting to a seventh extension on July 27, 2014, but with the asking price cut to 80 million by this time. Zanin International, a Chinese investment firm, made a 10,000 euros bid to buy the airport on July 17, 2015, indicating that they intended to invest an extra 100 million in redeveloping the airport to become a European center for Chinese cargo shipments. The commercial court, however, rejected the proposal on the grounds that it was too low and that the terminal building and parking lots would not have been included in the purchase. An undisclosed UK business made a court bid of 28 million for the airport in September 2015. However, the deal fell through due to problems. New beginnings. The airport was sold to the new firm CREA in April 2016. The sale was not completed until 2018 due to financial and logistical challenges. The airport reopened on September 12, 2019, and the Irish company Direct Aero Services constructed a maintenance base in October 2019. In December 2019, the Spanish company Jet Aircraft Services JAS, also launched an aircraft dismantling base. Since its reopening, the airport has seen some general aviation traffic, but commercial passenger flights are not likely to resume anytime soon. Freight flights resumed to the airport in May 2020 as part of a Guangzhou Ciudad Real freight corridor to deliver medical equipment during the COVID-19 pandemic, and Galastair, the airport's passenger airline, arrived but left later that year to Granada. That same month, the first planes to be stored at the facilities as a result of the epidemic arrived. By August 2020, it was already hosting 60 planes from Vuling Iberia, South African, Aer Lingus, and Virgin Atlantic, with plans to rise to 200 by the end of the year. Even if the extension did not occur, the airport accommodated over 80 planes at the height of the pandemic becoming one of Europe's favorite destinations for temporary storage. However, by July 2021, half of the aircraft had been returned to service by their respective airlines, and the airport had briefly shuttered its doors due to payment defaults to many vendors. One last chance. The airport will be revived as a result of an agreement made by the new administration with Sabina Technics to establish an airplane maintenance center. The deal, which will be in effect for 25 years, will permit the creation of 150 employees in the first five years, with an annual capacity of 100 aircraft. According to local media sources, Sabina Technic CQM, the Spanish subsidiary, has already begun the process of selecting individuals who will be trained in France. According to Luis Torrente, CEO of Ciudad Real International Airport, CRIA, the airport administrator, the objective is to consolidate Ciudad Real in the aeronautical maintenance sector by expanding the portfolio of services already offered to airlines and lessers. Teruel has been a notable success story in this regard in Spain. As a result, they are looking for companies that provide aircraft painting services, engine and component maintenance, and parts management and logistics, among other things. CRI intends to construct two more hangars in the medium term to support this expansion. In the meantime, CRIA is looking for a top-level company to operate its 7,200-square-meter air cargo terminal, 2,000 of which are refrigerated, and which also has authorization as a European Union border inspection point, 
allowing it to import perishable products for human and animal consumption. Concerning the sustainable agenda, the company aims to complete its self-consumption plans in June with the construction of one megawatt of photovoltaic panels, while also moving forward with a scheme to supply industries that install photovoltaic solar and hydrogen energy. Korea has owned the airport since 2018 and got the opening license in 2019 with the intention of developing it as a new aeronautical maintenance hub the following year. But the pandemic has caused the plans to be postponed. If you're interested in similar videos, click the video on the screen to watch how the H3 billion dollar highway was built in Hawaii and why it was so heavily opposed and now even close to abandoned 